And I'm going to invite to the stage, out of order, a representative of DSIT. And I've mentioned to you many, many times that DSIT and the Home Office are direct consulting with the open source community downstairs in our AI policy zone. And I'm going to invite Jack Wadham to the stage to talk to you about why they're doing that and what they're doing with us while they're here. And again, Jack will tell you when and where you can speak to DSIT in the Home Office today. Jack, would you like to come on stage? <laughs> Hi, good morning, everyone. I'm very excited to be joining you here today. Um, so I'm Jack Wadham. I'm at the UK's Department for Science, Innovation and Technology. I work in the AI regulation team, and I'm here today with my colleagues, Seb and Charlie. We're also joined by colleagues from the online safety and tech engagement team at the Home Office. Um, and we're here today to hear from you. We'll be in the consultation zone between two and three, and our Home Office colleagues will be in the consultation zone between one and two. Um, I'll say a little bit about our, like my team's reasons for coming here today. So yesterday, the government published its response to the AI regulation white paper consultation. In it, we committed to working with the open source community uh, to understand how to maximize the benefits of AI while minimizing risks. Uh, we want to work with the open source. We want, we want to support open source innovation because we're mindful of the benefits it can provide for innovation, transparency, competition, and inclusion. We're interested both in open models and in open tooling that can be used to augment models and integrate them into workflows. And we want to listen to your perspectives on the different dimensions of openness and the kind of potential value and the potential risks associated with them. So these dimensions include um, how different levels of model access to advanced, different levels of access to advanced open source AI models can help developers and model users achieve their goals. How open development communities operate and what they need to work well, and the role that open source licensing plays in supporting open development. We're interested in how both the potential benefits and risks of AI are impacted by these different dimensions of openness, and by any other dimensions that you can think of and point out to us. Um, so we're here because good policy is evidence-based and user-focused, and your expertise can help us make government policy better. So please come and talk to us. Um, that's it for me. Thank you so much for your time.